If you are new to the practice of yoga, this is the perfect practice for you. It's a simple and gentle slow flow and I will guide you through all of the postures. The only thing you need to do is use your breath and allow your breath to be your guide. So take your time, follow me and move mindfully. Let's get started at the top of the mat. Come into mountain pose, and if you've never taken mountain pose, I want you to bring your feet just about hip bone distance apart, and you wanna leave a little space between the arches. Make sure your arches are parallel to one another. Toes are straight ahead. Release the arms alongside your body. Feel the crown of your head rise towards the ceiling. Now, once you feel all of that, check in with what's going on in the middle of your body. You want to feel your belly button draw in so that your tailbone naturally releases to the earth. Relax your shoulders, close your eyes, and listen to my voice. Take a couple of deep breaths in through your nose. Keep your lips sealed and exhale out of your nose, nice and slow. Deep breath in through the nose. And exhale out of the nose. One more like that. Deep breath in. And slowly release. Go ahead and open your eyes. And so now as we start to move the body, I want you to come back to that breathing practice that we just did. Just breathing slowly in and out of your nose. So here we go. Inhale, lift the arms over your head, reach through your fingertips. Keep the body strong, relax your shoulders. As you exhale, you're gonna fold forward, hinging at your hips, bend the knees, lead with your chest, and fold over. Relax the arms and let them fall to the floor. Be mindful here not to overdo it. You can always keep the knees soft and bent. You're gonna inhale, lift your chest up halfway, bring your hands to your shins, crown of the head forward and chest forward, and then exhale, fold back over. Don't worry if you can't touch the floor. Press into your feet, lift your chest, start to rise, come all the way up to stand, belly to spine, arms lift up, and then exhale, hands to your heart. We're gonna take that one more time. Breathe in, lift the arms up, relax your shoulders as you lift, and then exhale, dive forward, hinging at your hip crease, fold over your legs, hands to the floor. Inhale, lift up halfway, keep your knees soft, don't lock them out, and then exhale, fold forward. Bend both knees, fingertips are on the mat, and then slowly step your left foot all the way behind you. Reach it back as much as you possibly can in this low lunge, and then take that left foot, drop it down so that it's turned out about 45 degrees. Feel the right toes extend straight ahead, and then draw your right hip back. Slowly begin to lift your chest up and feel the alignment here and strength in your legs. The hips are drawing back, you're bending deep into that right knee. And then slowly begin to add the arms on the inhale. I hope you're breathing. Take deep inhales and exhales through your nose. Now you bend that front knee as much as you possibly can. Just remember, don't take the knee past your ankle. Keep it either stacked over your ankle or slightly back. You're probably feeling that activity in your right quad and that's perfect. Relax your shoulders. If you're feeling any tightness in your arms, take your pinky fingers and spin them in. Take two more breaths here, deep inhale, exhale. One more breath. Relax the arms alongside your hips. And now we're going to adjust our feet for warrior two. So now you're gonna turn the left toes out just a little so that back foot is almost parallel to the back of your mat. The right knee is still straight ahead and you're bending it deep. You wanna take a look down and make sure your right knee is moving in line with your right middle toes. Slowly now, lift the arms up and we're in warrior two pose. The arms are in line with your shoulders. You're bending deep into your right knee. And just as we did in the beginning, you wanna draw your belly into your spine so the tailbone releases naturally down. Relax the shoulders again as you exhale. Sometimes they can get a little tight here as you hold them. Take another breath. And then from here, you're going to release both hands down to frame your front foot and step back into our first downward facing dog. Now in downward facing dog, you wanna create this inverted V. Relax your neck. 
Now the legs may not completely straighten and that's okay because you may feel some tightness in your Achilles, your calf muscles, or your hamstrings. So it's okay, bend the knees, it's perfect space. Take another deep breath in, find that alignment that feels good for you as you draw your hips back. More weight should be on your legs than your arms because your legs are definitely much stronger. One more breath. Slowly come out to what's called the plank pose. Don't worry, we're not gonna be here a long time. Your shoulders and wrists are in line, and if you need to, you can always drop your knees on this position. So it's kind of like a half plank. Gaze forward, feel those arms hug in, shoulders and wrists are aligned, and you're going to bend the elbows so they slide back alongside your rib cage and lower the body all the way to the mat. Point the toes behind you and then lift your heart up for a little cobra pose. Press into the tops of the feet, hug the elbows in, gaze slightly forward. Take another deep breath in, and as you exhale, curl your toes under, press back to your hands and knees, and slowly straighten your legs as much as you can in your downward facing dog. Make sure those feet are about hip bone distance apart again, pressing the heels generously to the mat, drawing your weight back towards your hips and legs. Relax the head and neck. One more breath. Slowly begin to walk your feet to the front of the mat, and as you walk forward, be mindful of your lower back and legs so you can bend your knees. And again, we're back in this forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway, hands to your shins, crown of the head forward. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, lift up halfway again, hands to your shins. Hold this position, draw your belly in, and then lead with the center of your chest to come all the way up to stand. Arms rise, lift up. You're back in your mountain pose, hands to your heart center. Let's do it to the other side. Inhale, arms rise, lift them up. As you exhale, lead with your chest, fold forward. Bend the knees if you need to, fold over. Inhale, lift up halfway, hands to your shins, chest forward, belly to spine, don't lose that. Soften the knees, fingertips to the mat. Step your right foot all the way behind you now, reach it back as much as you can, and then drop that right heel so you're turning it out about 45 degrees. Press through your feet. Inhale, lift your torso up. Feel the alignment of your feet and legs first. So left toes forward, right toes are slightly turning out. Then draw your left hip back, bend in your left knee, belly to spine, and then slowly lift the arms up. Make sure that you're also pressing down through the outer edge of your right foot so you keep that right leg strong and you feel that energy moving from your right hip all the way down to the outer edge of your right heel. One more breath, relax your shoulders, pinky fingers in, maybe lift your chest up a little bit since you know where we're going. And now find warrior two. Start to open the body up to the right side of your mat. Adjust your back foot so you turn it out just a little. Bend deep into your left knee and then slowly add the arms. Extend your fingertips out in line with your shoulders. Relax the shoulders. Bend deep into your left knee. And remember, don't go past your left ankle. Draw the belly in, feel that tailbone go down. Let's hold here for two more breaths. You got this. Stay nice and strong. Last breath, release both hands down to frame your front foot and step yourself back, downward facing dog. Bend the knees if you need to. We'll hold here in downward facing dog for a few breaths. Draw the hips back, reach and spread your fingers wide. So you want your thumbs in and the pinky fingers to the edges of your mat. One more breath. Slowly inhale out into our plank pose, shoulders come over the wrist. Lower your knees first to the mat, and then begin to bend the arms to lower your belly and chest to the floor. Point your toes behind you, press into the tops of your feet. Keep the arms hugging in toward your rib cage, and lift up for your baby cobra. Just your chest is lifting. Gaze slightly forward, try not to crank your head and neck. One more breath. This time, let's press back into child's pose. So you're gonna bring your hips back towards your heels as much as you can. And if you have like a tight lower back, lower, tight hips or groins, you may not be able to draw your hips all the way back and that's okay. Relax the arms, there's nothing else to do here. Soften the chin into your chest and allow the forehead to release to the mat. Last breath. 
Slowly come back into your hands and knees, wrist underneath your shoulders, curl the toes under, and straighten those legs for downward facing dog once again. Hold here for three breaths, relax your neck, let the head hang heavy. Press your heels to the earth, draw the hips back almost where the ceiling meets the wall. Final breath. And once again, slowly walk your feet towards the hands, all the way to the top of your mat, bend the knees where you need to. Inhale, lift up halfway, hands to your shins. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, lift up halfway, hands to your shins. Hold here, crown of your heads forward, heart is extending forward, press into your feet, come all the way up to stand, reach your arms high over your head, belly to spine, and then exhale. Drop your hands to your heart center, and you're in mountain pose. Take a deep breath here, inhale, exhale. One more deep breath in, and exhale. Slowly release your arms, go in and open your eyes. So there you have it guys, a very simple and slow beginner practice. As you may know, the practice of yoga is perfect for calming the mind, but also great for strengthening the body. This is the perfect practice for beginners, and I encourage you to continue to practice this over and over a couple of times a week. As you start to get stronger, you'll feel those beautiful shifts and changes in your body, and you'll fall in love with yoga. Thank you so much, and I'll see you around.